Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have really interesting video. As you all know, you can fix almost anything with the duct tape. But if you have two items, let's say the soda bottles here, and both are just fine, nothing wrong with them, but you add shitload of tape to another one, will it make it better than it was before? And with better I mean stronger, of course, because we are on Hydraulic Press channel. So today we are going to have different items and we are going to compare the regular state and then the duct tape enhanced super state of the items being much stronger hopefully with the tape. And let's start with the bottles. Okay, first the without tape one. Hundred surprisingly strong. Well, I think it was eight hundred fifty kilos, and it stretched it a lot before going. And then, the uh, one with the tape, I had this big brain method of applying the tape with the lathe, because why not? And I'm going to say that this is going to be twice as much. That's really strong. Whoa! Oh no, straight to the camera. Yeah, but that was really strong, way better than I thought. I'm going to uh, quickly dry up my camera. Yeah, but that was an excellent result and that was only about half roll of the tape. So the concept seems to have some truth behind it. Okay, since the soda bottle did really well, how about the soda cans? Bit similar, but different material. Okay, bit weaker. Okay, this didn't stay on the lathe, and because of that and the fact that I'm lazy, <laughs> there is now much less tape than on the bottle, so there is maybe like 10 or 15 layers of tape around the soda can, so let's see, will that make such a big difference than the much thicker layer with the bottle. 350 kilos is the uh, number to beat. And here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now it leaks. Yeah, I think the amount of the tape wouldn't change this, because the aluminium isn't so like uh, uh, easy to mold than plastic, it doesn't stretch, it just cracks. So it cracked from the bottom, bottom part of the can, and the tape didn't fail this time. 
And I think we are going to now switch to air filled items. So football is the next one. And first, benchmark ball without any tape. Here we go. Okay, pretty hard. Now it goes. Oh, -ho. it was surprisingly strong. I'm not sure can tape deform this much or what's going to happen, but I'm going to put a shitload of tape on the ball, at least one roll. Okay, there is one whole roll of tape and it was total pain in the ass to tape it. Took like 10 minutes from me and Anni, so hard work, but let's see, did it pay off? Okay, and the start should be completely the same. It should just go like further without the explosion. Yeah, it's best. Uh, I think it was like six or seven tons. I'm not sure was the ball any like stronger or did some of the load transfer to the duct tape. But the number was bigger, so the ball was better. Okay, and then everybody's favorite, the absolutely best material to be crushed, paper. And today, Post-it notes are going to represent the paper. First, without tape. Okay, let's count from the first explosion. That was uh, 75 tons. And then, same thing with the tape, with the tape. And the orientation of the paper is the same to give it like a fair chance. Okay, it's much stronger. Okay. I was saying it was much stronger, but it wasn't much stronger. Pretty close to the same thing, like 10% uh, more. And the tape just exploded. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, and then the last one, roll of string. It didn't explode. Usually this explodes. So it's now a bit hard to judge how strong it was. But uh, let's see how it does. I think we can get some results. I'm going to say that they were pretty much the same. I think the uh, biggest use on duct tape on making things better are pressure vessels. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.